Hello guys, I'm Banana Peel and welcome back to Hello Yoga. Today we are going to do the stomach part 9. So let's just do this. Collect all of the rewards and um, yeah, let's just go research this guy. You know, upgrade Betty to dumb. Yeah, so he gets a little bit of resistant and he HP does not decrease up to 7th throat. Let's make that 8th throat. Yeah. We have a lot of cash so we can spend it on Betty. If you really want to get cash you can actually you know play through the mouth through wherever you are and you might get a couple of thousand dollars, thousand coins I guess. So here we go guys we have got thumb. Okay. The round corners of the lactobacillus now resemble domes. The lactobacillus's new scientific name is lacto Fremantum or thumb for short. Its nickname suits its appearance, I must say. Now let us proceed onwards to the stomach. Let's go guys. Oh, next one is hard. That looks pretty cool actually. So yes. Let us go to the experiment and let's do stomach part 9. Okay guys, as you can see, we are in uh, the, the mouth apparently. Yes, we are in the mouth. Here we go. We are about to enter the stomach part 9. Sheep in dreams. Let's go. I, from the last episode, I think this was really hard, so yeah, I really gotta concentrate, I will try my best. But yes, and there are orange parasites also, so if we get hit by the orange parasite, we are dead in one shot. So we gotta be really careful, keep our eyes peeled. So yes, there he is, the orange parasite. Make sure we do not touch him, cause he is dangerous. Very dangerous. So yes, there it is the orange parasite, sheep, 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 poop, sheep, sheep, poop, sheep, oh, I got hit once, but that's fine, we can still survive, I guess, well, never mind. Okay, can we do this, can we do this, we are about halfway, we are running very short on our health, yes, but I think we can do this, yes, we got the amoeba, and we are really, really close, I am so lucky that I actually got through this, but yes. That is the stomach part 9, so let's just go through this real quick, let's not waste any time. I, yeah, I am not doing really good at this, but, you know, just gotta survive and just do whatever we can. Okay, here we go. Stomach part 10. What happens to the food I eat? Is there truly a black hole in my stomach? Probably, I don't know. These are spaceships, they look pretty cool. Whoa, is that a big gap or is that the pit of doom? I don't know. Probably the pit of doom. It's better we don't actually fall in there, so yes. Just a precaution, so yes. We are doing good actually. We are there's no parasites, so that's good. There are no cat claws to scare me off, so that's good as well. So yes, there's basically no possible threat in this. They don't look like rockets, they look like, you know ice creams or like a popsicle maybe yeah because the fire is basically like a popsicle stick anyway we died so yes let's go back home nope let's read about the stomach and yes come on the lactobacillus fell into a hole in the ground or to be more accurate a cavity caused by the absence of intestinal villi it seems that the lactobacillus will immediately melt once it falls into a hole. Should we come across any more holes in the future? Let's make sure to jump over it. Wow, it's basically like a one shot, one kill. I mean, yeah, so you gotta be really careful. But anyway. It is said that the origins of counting sheep lie among the shepherds of old who harbored fears of losing their sheep to wolves or loose fences. Supposedly, they rested their fears by counting sheep before they slept, thus essentially the practice of counting sheep is no more than a pastoral superstition, but I must admit that it has aided long nights when I could not fall asleep, okay? So yes, in the next episode, we will complete the stomach part 10. So yes, if you want to play this game, the link is down in the description. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.